totally could have been handled a much, much better way. So, I mean, you can tell that the cop's irritated. You can tell that he's intentionally holding his documents from him. And the guy keeps calling him out. And it's like, what do you do? What do you do? And what do you, what do you attribute? To, I know what I attribute it to, but Chad, I'll go with you first. What would you attribute that interaction to for that officer? I, I think uh, from, from my perspective and, and generally the uh, perspective of what most people are going to see there is that that dude's a little bit on a power trip. Uh, he's flexing. He's flexing on the idea that I have, I have a fair amount of time to hold you here as long as I can justify and, and spitball some reasons why I'm sitting here and because you pissed me off, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I don't, I don't enjoy that. I don't like that. Uh, I, I I'm kind of 50, 50 on uh, the, why you're going to get a ticket. If I get to the door and you're, you're, you're talking shit already and you've got a bad driving record, we're going to, we're going to just write a ticket. Right. right. Um, <laughs> but if but if we can be decent about it, come on, it, Izzo. You know? Why? Why? Uh, uh, why? Why does their <laughs> attitude dictate your citation issuing? Why? Uh, you know, I don't. I don't have a really good answer for it. To be is, honest, is, is I think more of it's just because we could, right. this, we could have had this in a respectful it says who manner. Says you know, who? I mean, you're right. Is it their First Society Amendment right? right? Do they do they have the First <laughs> Amendment right to say, Officer, you look like you fuck your mother? Do they have the right to say that? <laughs> oh, absolutely. All but, day. So, for sure. So this is the danger. You just admitted that <laughs> on a recorded show. So now, God forbid, anybody gets wind yeah. of that and you issue a citation, every, it's fruit of the poisonous tree. After that. You, I, what, so what did you arrest that guy who killed his wife for? Well, his attitude. Is that, is you, so it's First Amendment no. violation? No, or you're free to go. Right. Uh, now, okay. This is a big so, deal. So, so let's say it this way then, Izzo. If, if I am determining whether I'm going to write you a ticket or not, and you've managed to just be a dickhead the whole time, that's just what. That's the that's that's that that's their deal. And then being a dickhead is is is, is completely uh, subjective, right? If I say nothing to you on Travis, so I'm just go mm hmm, mm hmm, right. Appreciate that. You can say, "Oh, you're being a dick." What? What, it, what is the re- polite response? Oh my God, officers! Thank you so much for pulling me over today. I'm really sorry I made you leave your car, and I know I was speeding. What cops are looking to do, and this is the problem, and and this is the one thing that I it's got it's very it's it's a black and white. I get why we do it, and I'm not saying I have not done it. I've written my fair share. I, I wrote a guy 40 citations once because I went on a, a three block pursuit with them. That's pissing off the police. <laughs> When, when you get this shit where we say, I'm going to base uh, their, their traffic citation on their history, right? You're also almost going into the punishment stage. Sadly, the cop's job is not to discipline or administer any punishment. That's the court's job. You have to be very careful about that. Our job is to document behavior and actions, pass it along to the proper channel. That's it. Otherwise, what we saw. Other, okay. otherwise, in reports, you would say, cocksucker number one driving the car was a real piece of shit to me. Opinions really don't go in reports. So it's a, I, I get it, and I know why we do it, and I know that dealing with people sucks, but now you're looking at, it's February, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, you're in the Chicago area, it's 20 degrees below zero, you just got in a fight with your girlfriend, you're on midnights, and she and before you left for work, she went, well, fuck you. I'm going out tonight with the girls. So now you're stuck in your squad alone in that box, no partner. And then Joe shit the rag man drives past you, blows a stop sign. And he just has the wrong attitude. You're going to take all your shit out on him because you can't separate your emotions. Because of what? Because he had the bad day and had the exact same experience. So it does suck that the only person who's allowed to have a bad attitude is the cop. That's it. The drivers are not, and cops punish them for that. I'm very big on that because I did catch myself doing that in the beginning of my career, and I went, this is really shitty because of how much power I have. I have a ton of power to ruin someone's life through fi- the fines, the fines they are going to pay when they when I, I make a great paycheck, and I don't know what they make, how many mouths they feed. So it, it's a, this is a very big sensitive issue for me because cops abuse this, and I was one of them. Okay, so I will 